here we have a a trap that uh, it's called a bow trap or bow uh, it's active uh, actuated by the power of the bow it's set up actually to catch ermine which is weasels in the winter time when their uh, hair is white we have a space here that when this is leaned against a tree right opposite it is pegged a little piece of meat or other bait that is attractive to weasels and when the animal goes for the bait it depresses this little bar and when the bar is depressed then the power of the bow clamps the animal in between it the uh, kind of a bit of an ingenious device once you learn to play with it you you find there isn't much literature that I've encountered. I've just seen pictures, so I've extrapolated this from a variety of pictures. A very popular carving um, activity that uh, on an advanced survival course you would probably have students carve these and make them work, and they end up with a lot of skill development and an artifact that um, is... Uh, um, an artifact that is does something and is kind of nice for displaying the uh, uh, the skill of the maker. There's a little catching device here. There's a lever. But at first you wonder why it's like that, but it gives you a wide latitude of adjustment when it comes to setting the trigger. And this little piece here hooks and keeps the find adjustments here. It hooks and keeps the uh, um, the trap open. Well, here my strings are so coarse that it's pushing my bowstring off. Okay, now it's not going to do it. Little flaws that you discover as you play with the... This is actual actual size. You might say that... Uh, <laughs> we have to... Usually we drill holes in these sticks and it eliminates a lot of the bulk of knots that that infuriatingly keep um, um, interfering with what we're trying to get done. Okay. There, positively hooked. Keep the jaws open. A little stick. The trip, the trip stick. Using such coarse threads. There, we finally reset it again. Now, the notion that I propose, a great deal of the problem of finding knowledgeable people uh, is that uh, they're so rare. If you start on a process of self-instruction by scale modeling and working out everything, you'll find it's very educational and in the end you may even become more expert because you get to the bottom of the principles that govern all these things.